With COVID cases in our area on the rise, the CDC now recommending people wear masks indoors. The guidance is for people living in Nassau and Suffolk counties, along with Bronx, Brooklyn, and Queens. CBS 2's Christina Fan spoke with doctors and has more now on what you need to know. Streets are bustling, masks are off, and capacity limits are gone. It feels as if COVID has been eradicated, but numbers indicate it's very much still here. There's still variants that's going around. I know somebody who has it uh, right now. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention is recommending indoor mask wearing in five New York counties in its latest COVID data tracker report. The Bronx, Kings, Queens, Nassau, and Suffolk counties are all in the orange, with positivity rates between 7 to 10 percent. Physicians say the good news, though, we are still seeing that most people that have had their vaccine are still having milder symptoms than the people that don't. Dr. Frederick David has already seen an influx of patients at Long Island Jewish Medical Center. We are starting to see more people gather this time of year in big crowds that to keep yourself safe and keep those loved ones around you safe, especially those that are, might be immunocompromised, those that are older. It probably is safer to wear a mask. Most New Yorkers say they'll oblige, especially with flu cases climbing too. I've been wearing it since the pandemic started and, you know, it's still around. So I'm just doing the same things that I did and I've never had it. It might have turned into a common cold, but it's still here and I, I want to live. According to the CDC, the number of influenza hospitalizations for this time of year is at its highest level in a decade. Since October 1st, there have been at least 8.7 million cases reported. In downtown Brooklyn, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. There have been 4,500 deaths from the flu so far this season, including 14 pediatric deaths.